Have you ever wondered if you might be manipulating others without realizing it? It's a tough question to grapple with, but a necessary one. Manipulation is a spectrum and sometimes we might employ manipulative tactics out of habit or without awareness. It's important to recognize that it's not the occasional slips, but the habitual and harmful patterns that need addressing. We often associate manipulation with ill intentions or malicious people, but that's not always the case. Sometimes we might be leaning on manipulative tactics unintentionally. Perhaps it's a learned behavior or a defense mechanism, or maybe it's a way of grappling with our insecurities. Whatever the reason, recognizing these patterns is the first step towards improved self-awareness and healthier relationships. We're about to explore six signs that could indicate you're engaging in manipulative behavior unknowingly. It's time for some introspection, some self-analysis. Let's delve into the six signs that may indicate you are manipulating others without even knowing it. The first sign is relying heavily on guilt trips and obligation. This is when you leverage feelings of guilt or a sense of duty to persuade someone to act according to your wishes. It's a subtle form of manipulation that often goes unnoticed. You might say things like, after all I've done for you, you owe me this. Or perhaps you've used the line, if you really cared about me, you would. This places the other person in a difficult position. They might feel guilty or obligated to do what you want, even if it contradicts their own needs or desires. This method of manipulation can be particularly damaging as it creates a power imbalance in the relationship, leaving the other person feeling indebted to you. So if you find yourself frequently resorting to guilt trips or obligations to get your way, you might be using guilt trips and obligation as a manipulation tactic. The second sign is exaggerating or minimizing situations to get your way. Let's delve deeper into this. You see, each situation we face has its own weight, but manipulative tactics can distort this weight to serve personal interests. Here's how. Imagine you're in a disagreement. Do you often inflate the impact of the other person's actions to make yourself appear as the victim? Conversely, do you minimize your own mistakes, brushing them off as inconsequential, just to dodge responsibility? These actions can warp the narrative in your favor, subtly manipulating others into feeling they owe you something. This isn't about consciously lying or deceiving. We're talking about subtle shifts in perspective that can turn molehills into mountains or vice versa. The key is to be aware of these tendencies. If you often exaggerate or minimize situations, you might be manipulating others without realizing it. So take a pause, reflect, and consider if this sign resonates with you. The third sign is withholding affection or approval as a punishment. This is a subtle but powerful form of manipulation that can often go unnoticed. When you become cold or distant when someone doesn't adhere to your desires, you're essentially creating a system of reward and punishment. The person on the other side is left feeling that their worth in your eyes is conditional, dependent on whether they're meeting your expectations or not. This can create an unhealthy dynamic where the person may feel compelled to constantly please you, even at the cost of their own well-being or happiness. It's a form of control, masked under the guise of emotional response. If you notice that you often withhold affection or approval when things don't go your way, it's time to pause and reflect. If you often withhold affection or approval, you might be manipulating others without realizing it. The fourth sign is keeping score and bringing up past mistakes. Have you ever brought up a friend's mistake from years ago during an argument? Or reminded a partner of a time when they let you down, even though they've already apologized? You may not realize it, but this is a form of manipulation. It's like you're keeping a mental tally of all the times someone has wronged you, ready to use it as ammunition whenever you feel wronged or threatened. By doing this, you're essentially manipulating the other person into feeling perpetually indebted to you. It also makes it much more difficult for them to assert their own boundaries, as they're constantly being reminded of their past mistakes. This strategy not only stunts their growth, but also hinders the progress of your relationship. So, if you often keep score and bring up past mistakes, you might be manipulating others without realizing it. The fifth and sixth signs are playing the victim or the hero and fishing for compliments or reassurance. Imagine this. You consistently paint yourself as either the helpless victim of circumstance or the noble hero who's always picking up the pieces. This is a classic manipulation tactic. 
It gives you a sense of control and makes others feel obligated to support or take care of you. When you're constantly the victim, you generate sympathy and attention. When you're the hero, you create a sense of indebtedness. Next, consider how often you fish for compliments or reassurance. Are you constantly seeking validation, even at the expense of others' needs? This can be a subtle way to manipulate others into giving you the attention and approval you crave. Remember, it's not about self-condemnation, but self-awareness. If you often play the victim or the hero or fish for compliments, you might be manipulating others without realizing it. If you've recognized some of these signs in yourself, it's important to reflect on your behavior. It's not about casting blame, but acknowledging patterns that may be harmful to your relationships. It's time to make a change, and here's how you can start. First, practice empathy and emotional intelligence. Try to understand situations from others' perspectives. This will foster mutual respect and understanding. Next, communicate openly and honestly. Instead of resorting to manipulation, express your needs directly and assertively. This will lead to healthier conversations and fewer misunderstandings. Also, take responsibility for your emotions. Blaming others for your feelings is not constructive. Instead, learn to cope with difficult emotions in a healthy way. Furthermore, respect others' boundaries and limitations. Don't pressure people to do things they're uncomfortable with. Respecting boundaries is key to building trust. Lastly, seek professional help if needed. Therapists and counselors can provide valuable insights and help you develop healthier coping strategies. Remember, change takes time and effort. Be patient with yourself as you work towards healthier relationship dynamics.